Okay, for our bamboo bow, we need some bamboo, and a couple of things to, to know. One is that this piece is from the base of the bamboo, so it's nice and thick, but the, the grain isn't as tight as it is further up the, uh, the stem. But there's a more fundamental problem than that, and that's here. This, this node, there was some water that's got trapped in it. I don't know if you can see this, but that's it's like all rotten around there. So, you know, that isn't really going to be suitable at all. The ideal thing that you're looking for is, is something like this, which is, you can see this is sort of, it's nice and shiny, um, and, you know, this sort of light colour, and, you know, if you look inside, um, it's got a nice tight grain, whereas, you know, that one I've shown you before, you can see this one hasn't been sort of sun-dried as much, it's got this sort of green fungusy stuff on it. The other problem you get with bamboo, uh, you know, is insects can, you know, will eat it, so, you know, it can rot. But, you know, usually there's loads of it around. You just need to select a piece that, you know, looks okay. And we're going to try with this piece. It's, it's a little bit on the thin side, um, but, you know, that's okay. I'd rather have it, um, you know, in good nick and a bit thin than, uh, you know, a bit rotten and thicker. Okay, so that's our piece. Let me split down some uh, staves from it so that, we, you know, we can start putting together the bow. But you can see there, you see this sort of nice shiny sort of yellowy skin, that's what you're looking for. Okay, so when we want to cut this to size, I mean this is too long at the moment, but rather than cutting it at this stage, you know, it's easier to, um, to split it into the sort of right sort of thickness first, and then you, you know, you can cut it down to size later. So, you know, just looking at it, I'm going for about, about three fingers, about there somewhere. I find it easier to use a baton. And, you know, bamboo's so easy to work with. It's, you know, just doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so I've cut off a few splits. Um, just looking to see which one, you know, is the best. This one looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna um, quickly sort of shape it. See, you know, see how it, uh, how it goes. all very quick. Okay, so this will do as a sort of main stave. I've got three nodes here, so I'm going to cut it just above this node. I need these nodes, they're important. You'll see, you'll see why in a bit. Okay, so once you've sort of cut it roughly like that. What you want is some sort of support. This isn't ideal, you want something like a, like a tree trunk. You can see that, and then we're gonna cut down at an angle. I'll just show you on this piece, I'm gonna to switch to using a saw, because it's, it's just quicker. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just sort of take away the, the, the curvature, you know, try and make it as flat as possible. I'm not going to make it completely flat, but pretty flat. And, you know, the way I do it is just to use the parang, you know, as always, to do you know, most of the hard work, uh, and then just switch to a knife, you know, to, to sort of tidy up a little bit more. But as you can see, I mean, it's just... It's so quick with that move. Alright, there's my knife. Get, out of, get rid of these sharp edges. Now, you know, the thing about bows, which I'm sure you know, is that where it's going to break is where my knee is. That's where, you know, the most, most of the sort of breaking force is going to be. You know, the tips of bows, you know, can be really quite thin indeed. So, if I use it like this, you know, I could 
but there's a, there's a strong wrist that's going to break here and it's also not going to be very strong. So everything we're going to do next <coughs> you know, is designed to strengthen the bow and, you know, and make it a bit more powerful. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just put the, um, the tips in to, that are going to hold the, um, the bow string. So again, I'm just going to support it here and batten in. I'm not really set up very well here, but just trying to keep things in camera. Okay, so I'm just cutting in at a slight angle, and then I can just flip off that piece. And you know, I just work in, work slowly. You don't want to make it too small. There's no hurry. It's also quick anyway. This is the thing with battens, you know, people think it's just for like, you know, heavy splitting and what have you, but, you know, in fact, you can do quite accurate work with a baton because it allows you to position the, the knife, uh, you know, correctly, apply the right sort of pressure, but, you know, I mean, this will do, I'm just, I'm just going to do this quickly, I won't spend too long on it, but that basically, that basically is ours, you know, that's where the loop of our bowstring is going to go. And we just want to make sure there aren't any sort of sharp edges that are going to cut, cut, the, uh, cut the bowstring. Okay, let me do the other end. Okay, at this point we can just check that, see how it bends. I can see this, this, this piece is bending a bit more, might thin that a little bit. I'm not going to do you know, very much tillering. I'm just sort of checking it feels right. And one thing to note here is this, this is the back of the bamboo, but it's going to be the belly of the bow. It's going to face towards you. The reason for that, it seems to have, bamboo, if, you know, show it. It, it seems to have, you know, more spring one way than the other. That, that way is all right, but when you bend it back on itself, you know, it's got a real flick to it, which is what you want, give you a nice, you know, fast bow. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this little back bow. Um, this is what's called a penobscot uh, style bow. And, you know, you might be thinking, why not just stack them all behind like this? And there's a reason, I'll see if I can show you. Uh, the problem is, so imagine that's my, this is my main stave, and this is a piece I've just stacked behind. Oops, it's my, use that bit. Uh, so imagine, this is my bow here, and I'm stacking behind it like this. The problem is, where you've got that, um, th you know, this, wh where this one ends and the main bow ca continues, that's a sort of stress point. So as I bend it, it's gonna break at that point because it's a very abrupt, you know, it's a very abrupt uh, shift, so it's just gonna break it off. With the penobscot arrangement, you know, the load is a little bit more evenly distributed. You don't get that, that very abrupt point, you know, like you know, we've got here, which is just gonna you know, snap it. Okay, so my main bow is three nodes, one, two, three. For the back bow, I'm gonna use two nodes, one and two, and that's gonna, um, uh, that's gonna go like so. Now, the reason I want the nodes is, again, because the, the nodes give strength because it's going to be pulled by the cable and I don't want the bamboo to just split off and the node will stop that happening. So let me tidy up this piece and I'll show you how to put the notches in. Okay, now I want to put the notches in. Um, what we do first is a stop cut. You can see this. Again, I'm going to use the baton. I'm working just behind the node there. And it whoops. I want to get this better supported than I'm doing, but never mind. Just tap it in. Don't go in too far at first. We want to work in bit by bit. So that's the, the notch started. So I'm sort of coming more or less straight in with the stop cut and then at an angle to meet the stop cut, but not going further than that. But you can see that. That's the that's one knot done. Just do the same on the other side. 
Okay, so there are my notches for the back bow. And what we can do now is just uh, attach that to the main bow and see how, see how it's looking, uh, see whether it's working the way we want it to. Okay, so uh, I want to do the cables now. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got two bits of, uh, um, this is throw line actually. I'm just going to roughly measure, okay, that's about right. Now, the thing is, these two um, bits of line are the same length. And that's quite important because it means that the loops are the same size. So when you twist them, uh, you know, it'll automatically center the smaller bow uh, in, you know, um, in the middle of the bigger bow. So my dog's whining, big shush. Um, now, if you look at the bow I did before, I'd, I'd actually recurved the, you know, this piece here. So I've bent the bamboo like this. You can you can bend it back, which is you know gives it a bit more um, spring to it. However, you know if you haven't done if you haven't bent bamboo before, dry bamboo, it, you know it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of an art really. <laughs> Difficult to explain how to do it without breaking the bamboo. If anybody's interested, you know I don't mind doing a you know short video showing you know how it's done. But you can see you know on this this bow you know the, in fact I've got three I've got. Uh, so two smaller bows on top of the main bow. I'm only going to do one here because I'm just going to try and keep things simple. But here I bent that out. This was bent out as well. It's like, it's like recurving the bow. But let's see how we get on, you know, just doing it in this sort of straightforward manner. Now, the trick to this is how do you attach these cables? Because you, know, you can spend a lot of time trying to get it right, but there's an easy way of doing it. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to loop that over there. I want this rope. You see that, yeah, coming on top of here. So I want it like so. You know, that's going to be better than the other way. It's like that. You know, it isn't so good. I want the rope, and the rope on top is better. So I'm just going to just put that there for the moment. And what we need to do is, once we apply some tension, you know, it won't slip off. You know, we have to see the other side of this. You know. So keeping that. Um, you know, like, you know, in, in that position, keeping the loop on, and do the same thing on the other side. So now, what I'm going to do is pinch that string together, just put my foot there to keep a bit of tension, and all I have to do is twist now. And this will automatically tighten up. Once I've got going, got a few twists in, all right, I can let go of the string, and now it's a bit quicker. And now I'm just going to roll it up to get, the, you know, to get a bit of tension in that cord. The more Okay, so there's the cabling on the back of the bow. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is just put a piece here and tape it on with some duct tape. I just wanna check the bow, you know, is see, see what it's like in this, uh, you know, with this um, setup. Okay, so I finished the bow, uh, but I had a problem. The first time uh, I did it, the, uh, it snapped there. And the problem was, you know, uh, you know, live and learn really, but I hadn't got these cables on tight enough. You want to, you know, I realise you need to twist them really, you know, almost as much as, uh, you know, they'll, they'll go. So, you, so, so basically, so this piece is really pulled back. Because it was too loose, this piece wasn't being pulled back. And, you know, there was a lot of um, strain on this, on this main stave and it snapped here. But now this is pulling, I mean, it's, I wouldn't want to take it much past, I'm about 29 inch draw, that's all right. And it's pulling, and 28 inch is pulling 25 pounds. So you know, it's a nice little bow, very quick to make. I mean, the fact that the mainstay broke wasn't really a problem, it's just so quick to make another one, as long as you've got enough bamboo left. Actually, that's quite nice, it feels quite good actually, this one. And it's, uh, you know, it's nice and light. The, the other one, the, the, this one, um, you know, which is pulling over 30 pounds. Yeah, maybe feels a bit, 
smoother. I mean, it's certainly stronger than this one. But you know, this would be fine for bow fishing or for you know small you know small game. Okay, sorry. Let me just show you uh, you know the whole thing. So yeah, as I say this cable needs to be on nice and tight. It should have gone over there, but no, nah, never mind. And then I've got one more back piece here, uh, which is just to you know give extra strength to that you know to this to that to the center. That's it. You know, three pieces of bamboo. I mean, it took. I mean, if I was doing this, you know, without trying to film it, um, half an hour maximum, you know, start to finish. Yeah, you've got a workable boat. So, you know, I mean, I've been firing a few shots with this, and actually it's, it's a very quick, smooth, nice little boat, very quiet. Um, you know, in some ways, you know, compared to this one, which is, you know, fancier, um, okay, it's got a bit more draw weight, but I think I like this one more. Um, you know, it's, it's lighter to carry, and you know, you're only going to be going for like bow fishing or you know small game. So I think I'd be kind to go with this design next time. Okay, I finished off the bow this morning. Um, all I've done is to, you know, get rid of the duct tape. You know, you can use just to show you you can use um, you know, rattan instead, and I've done a better bowstring. Uh, you know, this is using a, a reverse twist. You can see how to do that in the video that I did on, uh, you know, how to make cordage. Just put, um, you know, ring splices up, you know, at either end. And, you know, and I like it. As I say, I like this boat. It's nice. You know, compared to this one, which, you know, as I say, is more powerful, maybe a bit smoother, and it's, it's a longer bow. Um, that one's quieter, but obviously, as I say, you know, not quite as powerful. Now, just to finish off, I thought, you know, to just say, if you're, you know, if you want to be prepared when you go into the jungle so that you can make a bow, if you take in a bit of duct tape, that's going to, you know, speed things up massively, get good duct tape, something like Gorilla Tape. You only need, like, one wrap, maybe two wraps, and, you know, that's fine. It's so strong, it'll hold it. And also take in some line for your bowstring. Now, a lot of people would use paracord, but actually this sort of stuff... These throw lines, are, you know, are better. This this orange one is um, breaking strength of 90 kilos. The yellow one is 300 kilos. You know, you can just make yourself up a little uh, paracord type bracelet. And because it's thinner than paracord, you know, it's not so bulky. So you know, there you go. That's the basics of it. Um, you know, as I say, really very quickly you can uh, put together a bow that is going to be uh, suitable for your know, small game. Uh, for bow fishing, you know, etc.